In collaboration between the British Lebanese Association and the Arab bankers in London, British Lebanese Telecom and Technology Executive Ghassan Hasbani presented a seminar entitled Scenarios for 2030, Lebanon and the Middle East in a Changing World, based on his recently published book, Life Outside the Cave. The evening started with a welcome note by George Canaan, CEO of the Arab Bankers Association. Hasbani was introduced by Sir David Richmond, chairman of the British Lebanese Association. In his presentation, Hasbani described the different challenges that the Middle East is facing, being the least integrated region in the world. Hasbani emphasized on the importance of the youth in this region. Youth unemployment is one of the major destabilizing factors in the Middle East, particularly in Lebanon. In Lebanon. That's why we have a high degree of immigration. Uh, this brain drain is a major disaster for the country. And that's why the only way to keep those people in the country is to create jobs. Creating jobs through engaging the private sector, privatizing government-owned assets today, uh, cre creating opportunities for foreign direct investors, uh, investments to come to Lebanon, which translate automatically and directly into jobs uh, for the youth and create the right economic environment for growth and prosperity. For a better stock market to be active in Lebanon, we need an active private sector. We need investments. We need privatization. If we don't follow this, if we don't apply the liberal regulated market economy that our constitution refers to, as an essential part of our Lebanese fabric, we are not going to solve any of the current problems. Hasbani also developed an interesting theory that describes the political and economical situation in his home country. The, the symbol of the buildings and the hanging house is basically that Lebanon resembles a house with two floors and no foundations. That's based on the World Economic Forum uh, ranking uh, on competitiveness, where Lebanon ranks very well in the advanced stages, the innovative stage and uh, the efficiency stage, uh, but ranks really, really badly on the basics, uh, the rule of law uh, from the corruption point of view, the state of infrastructure, uh, and, and among other things, the, you know, the state of the economy and the financial markets efficiency. These are basics that any economy requires to be able to sustain itself and be independent. Because Lebanon ranks very badly on the basic stage, it resembles a house of two floors without foundations hanging by threads uh, in, with other buildings. So it becomes dependent on all of these buildings. If one building shakes, the house itself shakes because it's handing with a thread to that building. Those buildings are the global economies. We're, we're connected to almost every single player in the global economy, not just the big ones, but also the small and regional ones around us. We're so dependent on the Lebanese diaspora working abroad and sending $8 billion a year to Lebanon to keep the economy going. We're dependent on the relationships, uh, the regional and global relationships in other economies and political systems to provide stability to Lebanon instead of Lebanon being able to stabilize itself by having the right basics and, and the right socio-economic structure. And on when he finds the time to write, Hasbani said? My books are a product of my professional experience and my engagement with global institutions like the World Economic Forum as being a member of uh, the Global Agenda Council on Competitiveness and also my fellowship at the Aspen Institute that taught me a lot about humanity and the philosophy of uh, society and economics, about uh, the philosophy of the pursuit of happiness and the good life. Those were kind of general uh, uh, philosophical principles combined with general economic principles with an exposure through my career to multiple markets and societies and, and situations, political and economic and social at the same time. Uh, all have been combined uh, in, in these two books, one in Arabic, one in English. But um, where do I find the time to write? It's, it's not a specific time that I carve out for writing. It's, it's part of my daily living and intellectual challenge that I found, find through my job through my engagement with the international institutions and through my duty as a human being, uh, first of all as a Lebanese citizen, as an Arab citizen and as a citizen of, of the world. The evening was well attended by members of the Arab Bankers Association and the British Lebanese Association. The audience enjoyed Ghassan's Hasbani's presentation and interacted with him in a Q&A session. This evening was uh, a very interesting presentation by Mr. Hasbani. 
He's obviously thinks uh, well and clearly, he's knowledgeable, and uh, he certainly has his uh, ideas as to uh, what the world is, look, uh, is going to look like over the next few years. We had the pleasure to see the speech of Hassan Hasbani. We, we will have the pleasure to read his book. We are very much interested in the Middle East, what's happening in the Middle East. The topics that he discussed could really cause us to be concerned. So, for example, where you get um, population growth like we have in, in the Middle East and the Far East, where younger and maybe disenfranchised populations are growing, and economic power is held within the, the West, that could cause conflict, and I, I'm not sure that that was covered in as much detail as perhaps it should. But having said that, he had 15 minutes to cover a massive topic. So the evening has been wonderful. The presentation was excellent, and uh, yeah, I'm very proud to be Lebanese. That's all I can say. In his presentation, Ghassan Hasbani described the infinite opportunities that exist in the Middle East, particularly Lebanon, his home country given its rich energy reserves and growing youth population. Bushra Bouyoub, Levant TV, London.